Let's take a look at the chart action for Bitcoin. All right, so in my last video, we were watching this uptrend right here. We broke this uptrend going to the downside, and I talked about setting up a limit order down here at these wicks down here, sitting at 45,600. We came down, hit my limit order, and now we're getting a bounce. What I'm curious is, are we gonna be able to bounce up, come up, and retest this trend line up here? Possibly break through it, or maybe get rejected. For right now, to me, it still seems like we're trending down though. So let's um, let's reconfigure our trend line. We have this trend line right here. We can kind of drag it like this. We're on the four hour. Let's go to the one hour. We can maybe even look see it a little bit better. We have this resistance right here. Resistance, resistance. And let's so we can change this one to a yellow line since it got the limit order filled. What I'm looking at now is, are we going to be able to keep this momentum going to the upside? We also have support right here and support right here. This is on the one hour time frame, so I'm not completely sure about this, but this is kind of moving up. It does look like we're kind of getting resistance and kind of pushing down still. In general, are we going to break to the upside or to the downside of this little triangle pattern that we have right here? We have support on the bottom. It almost looks like we have a double bottom. Let's go ahead and actually delete everything. It kind of looks like we have a bottom right here and a bottom right here. Let's do a trend line, something like that. This is the one hour time frame though. Let's see what it looks like on the four hour time frame. Yeah, on the four hour, it's just wicks, but on the one hour, it is a double bottom. So I'm kind of curious if this might be a reversal or the start of a reversal, maybe something like that. If we can continue to head up or if we start to head up, continue to this bounce continue this bounce should i say off this level then maybe if we could then maybe if we could break this line right here let's do we have resistance right here and resistance right here this would be kind of like a w pattern something like this so if we could break this trend line going to the upside what we would do is target from the top to the bottom of this pattern right here and drag that to the breakout and we're looking at a target of around 50,140 which would actually bring us up to this resistance over here let's go to the four hour time frame and see what this looks like so yeah this would mean that would be breaking this trend line over here so yeah that kind of makes sense something like that i mean i think this would be the first target but then ultimately we'd probably be looking at this target up here as well sitting at around 51,800. i think in the smaller time frame the main thing that i'm looking at we could go to the one hour or the four hour maybe the one hour is a little bit better but if we could break this trend line going to the upside then i'll be a little bit more confident on hitting maybe this trend line up here or maybe this previous resistance up here setting at around 47,900. if we zoom out and go into the four hour time frame we're still in this channel pattern like this and we're still heading to the downside but like I talked about in my last video, are we going to get a bounce right here and continue in this channel pattern? We got a bounce right here. Let's see if we could break this trend line going to the upside. Let's jump over the total crypto market cap. We haven't looked at this chart in a while. All right, so we've been bouncing in between this channel right here. It looks like we kind of formed another little channel right here. We have resistance, resistance, support, support. And then now if we zoom in a little bit, we have support and we go to like the four hour time frame and we have resistance, resistance, and then we're getting support down in this level down here or down in this area at this trend line down here. It does look like we're holding support on here, but at the same time, it does look like we're forming a triangle pattern. Are we going to be able to break to the upside or the downside? We kind of broke down, but it looks like we're holding support a little bit, and it looks like we have to kind of readjust. I don't know. If we go to the daily time frame, then it looks like we're below the 9 moving average right here. The This blue line right here, we're still below the 9 moving average, which isn't a good sign on the daily. I would like to see us break above that before we start getting bullish, and I would like to see us break this trend line going to the upside. That would be a, a, for the first sign, and then what I'd like to see us do is come through and test this trend line and also break through it for right now though we are still in this channel pushing down and then we're in this other little pattern pushing down as well we are testing this bottom right here so i'm kind of curious if we're going to get another push to the downside the other level that i've been looking at is this support down here this one is sitting at around 1.82 trillion i think it is let's do a horizontal line something like this and yeah i'm looking like 1.82 1 trillion 
or this is the other level that I've been kind of looking at because we have this support down here. What I really want to see us do is stay above this line right here because if we go lower than that, then that's going to be a lower low and that's going to be a downtrend or that's going to be the start of a downtrend because it's going to be a lower low. The other thing I've been noticing is we have this 180 moving average right here, this orange line, and we've been getting support on it. Let's see if we can keep that support going. Let's see if we could bounce out, or let's see if we could break this trend line, break this trend line with the support of this 180 moving average. Maybe we'll have to do it kind of volatile. Maybe we'll have to retest it, maybe break a little bit. I don't know. I'm looking at this 180 moving average right now on the daily time frame of the total crypto market though. Looks like it's giving us some support. Looks like it's giving us some support. If we break that, then I'm definitely going to be looking at this 1.82 level. Let's jump over the Bitcoin dominance chart. Okay, so here's what I'm looking at on this chart. If this chart is going up, it means that Bitcoin's basically taking over everything and dominating all the coins. And if it's going down, then it means it's all coin season. So we're basically bouncing in between these two trend lines right here. We have this top trend line and we have this bottom trend line right here. We have support, support, support. Basically, it looks like we're coming into the support zone right now and it looks like we're hitting it right now. The other thing I'm looking at is we have resistance going down right here, this downtrend. Right now, we're on the daily time frame. We're trending down, but it does look like we're getting that double bottom on this chart as well. So let's see if we can bounce up, break this trend line right here. The next spot we'll be looking at is right here. If we could break this horizontal line something like that then we might be looking at maybe a w pattern something like this then we could be doing the same thing where we target the top to the bottom and then we drag this to the breakout and it forms kind of like a w pattern something like that if we break this line going to the upside right here this is what we'd be looking at we're on the daily time frame and you can see that the 180 moving average kind of lines up with that target right there we haven't broke this trend line going up or down but in my opinion like I said, we're coming into this support line right here. If we break this trend line going to the downside, then this might be another altcoin season. So in general, I think we're probably going to get see a, I don't know, we might see a big move for Bitcoin or we might see a big move for the altcoins if we keep heading down. In my opinion, I'm watching this downtrend, waiting for a breakout to the upside. I'm, I'm kind of looking at that this level up here. Let's see if we can hold support right here, keep pushing up, and break this trend line going to the upside. If we break this trend line, I think that's going to be really good for Bitcoin. If we break to the downside, I'll be looking at these orange lines right here. These are the previous support. If we zoom out and go to like the weekly time frame, you can see that we got support down here and support right here. These were the previous bottoms. And I drew limit orders. I mean, I drew orange lines right here since we were back here all the way since we've been trending down i've been watching these levels for a while now we haven't actually hit either one of them but we've gotten really close on pretty much the level that we're at right now we're very close to that top one so yeah i think if we keep coming down these are the levels that i'll be watching for hopefully a bounce in general right now we're still on the support line right here and we're watching this resistance line right there so are we going to break to the upside or to the downside we still don't know let's keep our eyes out but it does look like we are forming a little double bottom so i don't know let's see if we could get that breakout to the upside okay so we're jumping back to bitcoin right now and we're on the one hour time frame so here's another couple of things that we could look at are the moving averages right now we're on the one hour we're above the one hour but if we switch over the four hour we're actually below that one. I think if we could break above that one, then that's gonna be a good signal or that's gonna be a sign then we're gonna be able to start testing this resistance or this trend line up here or possibly break it. If we go to the daily time frame, we are still under the nine moving average right here as well. We have the nine moving average coming in. It's this blue line right here and the price is right here. We're below that, I think. To, in order to break the nine moving average we're going to have to break this top trend line of this this four hour tr uh, tra this four hour channel that we've been sitting in for a while now so we've been sitting in this little channel right here i think if we could break out of this channel then we'll be breaking this nine moving average which will also be a good signal but for right now we are below it and we are trending down in this channel so until we do break some of these lines, then technically we are trending down. Like I said, I have a limit order set at 41K still, just because we are still technically in this downtrend. We have not started to break these trend lines going to the upside. Once we start breaking these trend lines, then I'll be less confident in this. And we could just start all looking at these previous 
resistance levels and start targeting those ones instead of targeting the previous support levels. This channel pattern's actually pretty been pretty funny. It's actually been working out pretty much to a T. We've been bouncing in between these two trend lines right now. I'm kind of curious if we're going to get support right on my limit order, get a bounce out and maybe come up to this level. Like I said, the next target that I'll be looking at is this resistance, maybe around 47,700. And I don't know, I'm gonna let it, I wanna see if it can break out though. I don't really wanna just sell it right here right away. I wanna see if we could break out. If we start trending back down again, then maybe I'll rethink it. Maybe I'll reset up a, a limit order or we'll see where else we can, I mean, we'll see what else can happen because I still, like I said, I'm still watching this 41K. I'm still waiting for a breakout to the upside or to the downside of this channel pattern right here. That's the main thing I'm still watching, but I'm trying to take advantage of this volatility and it's been actually working out pretty decent. It doesn't always work out like that, but yeah. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys like Bitcoin, hit the thumbs up button. If you guys are new to trading, check out this playlist right here. Basically an introduction and a rundown of how you can get started on TradingView and follow along with my videos. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.